Hello and welcome to this flip learning activity on multi-hazardous environments, part of the A-level hazards unit and obviously in paper one of the physical exam. Today we're going to examine what a multi-hazardous environment is and then you guys are going to be going off and doing a research paper on multi-hazardous environments. So the key concept is a multi-hazardous environment. So let's have a look at what it is. Multi-hazardous environments are places where two or more natural hazards occur, and in some cases interact to produce complex disasters. Examples of locations that can be classified as multi-hazardous include the Philippines, California, Indonesia, and Japan. But of course, there are many more around the globe. In order to be considered a multi-hazardous environment, there are a few things that the area must have. That is that it must have tectonic activity, therefore earthquakes and eruptions, are geologically young, which means they have new mountains forming or, or fold mountains, which makes them prone to landslides, avalanches, are often in the track of major storms, especially in the tropics where we have a lot of cyclones, and they may also suffer from global climate disturbances such as El Nino, which can impact on things like wildfire frequency. So if we have a look at California to the right hand side there, you can see mitigation of a wildfire in California. These areas have a combination of all of these hazards and that's what makes them unique. And how these hazards interact is incredibly important in terms of hazard management. It's an approach that hasn't really been looked at in much detail, but more and more scientists are realizing the importance of how these events are linked. Why must we consider the multi-hazardous environment when dealing with natural hazards? Well, this approach is useful because it allows governments, hazard management agencies and communities to adopt a multi-hazardous approach in order to mitigate the hazard effectively. And we can do this by looking at four particular areas. If you read below, you'll be able to find out more about what these are. Okay, now it's over to you. Thank you for reading the previous slide, but now you must create a report on the Philippines, which is an example of a multi-hazardous environment. Please include the following things, the context of the country, hazards, examples of interaction, and mitigation and management of that hazard. Good luck and I will see you for a presentation in the classroom the next day.